Here is how I fold packets of herbarium paper, eight and a half by 11, to make a packet for holding cryptogams like mosses, liverworts, hornworts, and lichens. Uh, I use a three by five card to mark off three inches from the upper left corner like that. And then likewise, three inches in from the upper right corner, make a mark and then three inches down from that upper corner along the right side. Doesn't matter whether you do the right side or left side, uh, but I always do the right side. And then fold it up to that mark on the right edge. Fingernail crease. Fold one edge in up to the mark on the top. And then turn it over. Fold the other edge in to the other mark at the top. And our packet is almost ready. And then fold up what the place where the label, the, the top of the packet. And so that's a complete packet. And then it's time to, you can either print your label on top of the packet or uh, type up the label and glue it on the packet. This way you know which way is up, easy to open. And there's the specimen in a cryptogam packet ready for insertion into the herbarium. Now, if you have, uh, want to do several of them, there is a trick and that is to feather the paper and you need to make it even like that and then take the, the card, come to me, and this is one of the reasons for using a card is because you can bend it down and make a nice mark and there'll be a mark on the whole stack of paper. And then you do one up on this side, uh, but I'm making marks on all of the paper, maybe 20 in there. Collate them then, feather it on the side, and repeat. And now there's a mark on the right edge of every one of those sheets of paper, and they're all ready to fold.